today I'm going to show you how to install this bilge pump into this 1996 Wave Venture 1100. This is a automatic bilge pump that has also a manual line so we'll be going through that today and I'll show you each step. Okay, first thing I'm going to do before anything else is make sure this bilge pump is good. Okay, it's running, so we know can proceed to step two. Now that I know the pump's good from touching it to the battery, I'm going to put some liquid electrical tape around the ends just to be sure that it's going to stay waterproof. Okay, we'll let that dry and move on to the next step. Okay, while that's drying, the next thing I'm going to do is figure out how to attach the base to the jet ski. Um, I'm doing that with Velcro. This is like extreme outdoor, holds up to 15 pounds. Might even put some extra glue on it. So fit on here just like this. There we go. There we go. This will make it so I can remove it really easily. It's going right here. Um, need to clean that up and we'll be ready to set the base down. Okay. Now this is dry, we'll put the base on here, I'll have it cleaned out in there, and now we're going to stick it in. Okay, now that that's in there and it's set up, the next thing I'm going to do is work on running my neutral wire over. To do that, I need to put a piece of shrink wrap on and an end that's going to fit your battery terminal. So, once you have the end on, okay. squeeze. Now we're going to turn the heat down on. Once that's melted, we can slot this piece up over the end. And just to be safe, I'll throw a little bit of just electrical tape on it. Okay, that's ready now. Now I'm going to slide this piece of conduit over it just for some extra protection. zip ties just to hold everything in place. Okay, that's one. Okay. 
Now that we have our conduit run, as you can see through here to here, I'm just going to put the end on. The uh, neutral wire is hooked up. And this should still work. This one. Yep. Alright. Next step will be hooking up the switch. The first thing I'm going to do is use the same Velcro and mount the switch in here where I want it. Now we need to run these ground wires through some conduit and up to the switch. Okay, got that piece of conduit, we're gonna zip tie that. Okay, so now we have two hot wires into the switch. Now we need a hot wire coming off to the off the battery. For that I'm gonna use some primary wire. Um, can pick it up. At any of your big box stores. There we go. One end, we're going to do the same thing I did last time. Going to put an end on to connect to the battery. And the other end will connect to the switch. Okay, same deal. Nice end. stripped one end with the battery terminal end on it and now we'll run one more piece of conduit from right there behind to the top Use one zip tie. Right here. There it is. Here's this. Okay. Now we have that ready for when we want to wire it up. One final thing I'm going to do is put an inline fuse here.
Okay, now that's in. I'm just gonna tape this conduit back together. back together. Okay, we have our 15 amp fuse. The wires are in now. We have the hot and the manual and automatic wires. Um, the neutral is already on, so we need to move on to wiring up this switch. This is a three-way switch, so basically the hot will come in the middle here, and then automatic will be one way, that's off, and then manual will be one way. So in order to do this, we need to first drill a hole in this plate so that we can mount this. After a few troubles, we've got her in there, done with this. Now we can stick this through. Let's move this all the way down. The switch is done for this part. And on, off, and on. Now we can move on to getting the wires ready. Okay, I'm just going to shorten these wires a little bit. I'm just going to put an end on this one because it's rather large. <laughs> Which one goes to which one? You'll just have to label it later. It's all wired up gonna attempt to make it a little more waterproof by putting some more of that uh, liquid electrical tape on it so here we go last step is installing the exit hose for the water and we'll be done it's dry, I'm going to put it back together. Now it's all wired up. It still works. So, at this point, we've set the bilge pump, set the switch, did the neutral wire, did the hot wires, and have wired everything up. So at this point, the bilge pump would basically spit water into the jet ski. Final piece is to find a place for that to exit. Um, so I'll have to drill a hole in the side and connect a pipe. Now comes the scary part. Have a drill bit here and this is the exit port, um, so we're going to make a hole for it. Made our 
cool. Okay, I got my hole in, I have my port in, put my end on. The last step in this process is to run this hose from the bilge pump down to up to our exit port. So here we go. I just want to measure for this. There we have it. The old Trump is in. We'll probably put a one more zip tie on it. Right here. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, here's the finished product. We have our pump, there's our switch, and it's routed, and the exit. Right there. And that's how you install a bilge pump in a 1996 way venture 1100 um yeah let me know if you guys like it